Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to create hierarchies and calculated columns in attribute view, attribute view which are additional or advanced features in uh, attribute views. So log into HANA studio, first we will see how to create hierarchies. Let's say you know we have uh, attribute view which is built on uh, customer information from ECC. Okay which is nothing but uh, a KNA1 table so if we open our attribute view customer so here I can see I have a KNA1 table which holds my customer information so in KNA1 table apart from customer number and name I want to see you know from which country and from which region and city as well so for city we have description whereas for country and region we don't have description here we have only keys so that's why I have joined two additional tables which gives description for my country key as well as for my region key and I have created this attribute view let's say my customer requirement is instead of apart from this attribute view he wants to have a hierarchy with a region country and city as level so my first level my hierarchy you know will be like this first customer will see all the region based sales information and if we drill down any particular region then he has to get all the countries in that particular region and if we drill down any country then he has to get all the cities in that particular country so now how to create hierarchies in uh, attribute view so you can create hierarchies in the semantics uh, area so if you come to semantics area you can see output columns as well as hierarchies in your right side so we can create two kinds of hierarchies in HANA one is parent child hierarchy the other one is level hierarchy so level hierarchy is nothing but what we have discussed now you will have different levels and you can organize which has to be first and which has to be next you can define levels so the second one is parent child hierarchy parent child hierarchy will be a suitable better for or better to define time period hierarchy let's say you know you have year 2013 or year 2012 so in year 2012 your child's I mean 2012 is going to be your parent and child's are going to be let's say quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 4 so these four are going to be parent chain and then for your 2012 year you can say you know your 12 months are childs so that is how you can define parent child hierarchy so in our case we are going to define level based hierarchy so to create a new hierarchy you can click on this plus button and you have to give a name for your hierarchy say I am going to give customer hierarchy and you have to select what type of hierarchy you want to create then aggregate all nodes so when you select a high hierarchy first level 1 hierarchy then it has to aggregate, aggregate all the sub levels of sub levels results so you have to choose this as true then what you want to display you want to display level name or name only or path so you want to display level name and now you can add your levels here so my first level is going to be a region okay which is uh, this one region description and if you want to add one more level you can click on again that plus button now you can add one more level so my second level is going to be country and the third level is going to be city so once you add this you can click on ok now activate it's successful so the, you won't see any difference here when you see data preview you can find the difference when you connect this to reporting tool so the only reporting tool that you can access hierarchies from HANA is MS Excel so now we will connect to MS Excel so using MS Excel we can only connect 
analytic use because MS Excel connects to HANA using MDX provider which is multi-dimensional expression language so we can only connect multi-dimensional objects so when we create analytic views and join you know this attribute view to the analytic view we can see those hierarchies in the Excel reporting so now we'll move on to how to create calculated columns okay so in our last video we have created attribute view for products information okay let's say product information so if I do a data preview on my product attribute view I can see I have my product ID and you know product category product name ID and product description or product text so instead of you know having product ID as separate and product you know text as separate if I have those two as a combined character then that gives you know a meaningful information to the user so how can I create a new a field with the combination of these two or you know with uh, combining these two fields so for such kind of scenarios you can go for creating a calculated column so in data foundation you can create a new calculated column so you can right click on calculated columns folder new then you can give here so what I'll do product this is going to be product ID and name so I'll give the same so I'm going to select data type which is going to be varchar and length 100 then you can define your SQL expression here so to cascade the values you can use plus symbol so what I'll do product ID so you know in between these two customer want to have one iPhone so what you can do you can add one iPhone and again I'll put one plus then I'll add text so once you define this you can validate the expression here so we have lot of expressions available here you can use we have a lot of functions you have string functions you know date functions mathematical and conversion functions so you can use any of the functions available to define or to create your new column okay once your you know expression is valid you can click on ok then you can go ahead and activate your model so now we can see model is active if you do a data preview go to raw data we can see here so which has product ID as well as description so that you know customer can easily understand so if this is the product ID this is going to be the description so this is how we can create a new calculated column and hierarchies in attribute views thank you for watching happy learning